Big move from the Packers today as they part ways with defensive coordinator Joe Barry. And to break it all down, we called in our friend Matt Schneidman, Packers writer for The Athletic, also host of the Matt Schneidman Show radio program. Matt, obviously this is what a lot of fans wanted. Is it the right move, though, from Matt LaFleur? We're going to find out. Matt LaFleur clearly felt like he needed a big change at defensive coordinator. Joe Barry's defense has largely been mediocre over the past three seasons, if you look at it on a 30,000-foot view. The last four games, really good, but that didn't save his job. I was surprised not only by the news itself, because I thought Matt LaFleur was going to keep Joe Barry, but also how quickly it came after Matt LaFleur said just two days ago that he was going to go at his own pace, go at his own process. So like you mentioned, you know, it seems like Matt LaFleur might have had his mind made up for a while on this one. That was kind of my thought process when it happened already, just a couple of days after the season, because you think back to the, the Mike Pettin move a few years ago, that took a while, more than a week, if I remember right, for him to finally decide, okay, I'm going to go in another direction. Does that tell you that maybe this decision was made around Christmas time after those two really bad performances against the Buccaneers and then the Panthers? Yeah, don't forget the Giants before that. You know, Matt LaFleur's tone after both the Giants game and the Buccaneers game was one of, okay, Joe Barry's in trouble here. Because if you remember after the Buccaneers game, Matt LaFleur openly questioned why the Packers stuck with so much zone when Baker Mayfield was tearing it apart. So if you have your head coach openly questioning scheme, game plan, you're in trouble. Now, we said throughout this past month, Matt LaFleur was not going to let four games of Joe Barry's great defense, you know, in, in most instances, alter his view on the larger scale. Turned out to be true, and now the Packers need a new defensive coordinator. You look back at the, the three-year tenure for Barry, there were some peaks, there were a lot of valleys, though, and I think the thought process is, you're investing first-round picks on the defense every year. Why aren't the results better than what you're putting into it personnel-wise? So you look at Barry and his run. What do you think was his biggest shortcoming as the Packers' D.C.? Yeah, I think it was the run defense. You know, there's a stat called rush defense EPA, which basically measures effectiveness against the run on a per-play basis. They rank 30th in the league since he took over as defensive coordinator during that time. They're not much better before he got here, too. So the first task of the new defensive coordinator, whoever it may be, they got to fix the run defense. That's been the Packers' Achilles heel since Brian Gutekunst became GM in 2018 and even before that. So I would say the biggest weakness was the run defense, the scoring defense, the takeaways, some other stuff. The red zone defense was near the bottom, but everything else was kind of in the 10 to 20 range. Packers have the talent to be a top 10 defense, but they never quite got there. How do you think this plays in the locker room? Because there were moments, certainly with Jair Alexander, Devondre Campbell, guys like that, where you questioned how they felt about Joe Barry and the way that he was coaching and the way that he was game planning. But there's also been a lot of guys throughout the course of the day that have spoken up and said, I, I really like Joe. And I think he's a guy who's well-liked off the field, right? But with all that in mind, how do you think this plays in the locker room? Yeah, that's a good question because at Locker Cleanout, we heard Kenny Clark, Jonathan Owens, Rashawn Gary, they were asked about Joe Barry and basically gave him a vote of confidence. Rashawn Gary, not as much as Kenny Clark and Jonathan Owens, but Preston Smith, who played for Joe Barry in Washington back when Joe Barry was the defensive coordinator there, said, we play for Joe after the Bears game. Kenny Clark and Quay Walker were singling him out for his game plan after some late wins this season. So they know that this is the business. They're going to buy into whatever new defensive coordinator they have. And Matt LaFleur needs to get it right because he needs to not only get a defensive coordinator who players like playing for, but one who can get this defense to where it needs to be so they don't let Jordan Love and this offense's talent go to waste. And who is next? Who are some Oof. names that folks should, should have in mind as they begin the search? Not Mike Rabel. <laughs> I know people like that name. That'd be something. It, it's not going to happen. Yeah. I can tell you that for a fact. It's not going to happen, even if he doesn't get a head coaching job. Wink Martindale the former Giants defensive coordinator who has let go, who has beaten the Packers the past two years, Matt LaFleur. If you listen to how Matt LaFleur talked about him before their game this year, a lot of respect for him. I think Jim Leonard, is he a guy they go back to? You know, that's a name people are going to look at, fans. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's one of much substance, but it's an easy one to go back to. Mike Caldwell, who uh, the Jaguars just fired. I put together a list with Diana Rossini earlier today over at The Athletic for some names. Mike Caldwell could be on that list. Ajiro Avero, who is the Panthers defensive coordinator, 
We'll see if he gets a head coaching job or stays with the Panthers. Those are just a couple. There are probably plenty more out there. Anthony Weaver, the D-line coach for the Baltimore Ravens. There's going to be a lot of names floated around. Matt LaFleur, I would be surprised if he does not cast a wide net on this thing. And you think he probably takes his time with the search, too? Yeah, I would say he takes more time with the search than he did with the decision after the season. I would hope so. It was four days. So yeah. you probably need to, if you're casting a wide net, it'll be a little bit yet. But big expectations for the Packers going forward. And obviously, Matt LaFleur's expectation is that defense has got to be better than it was this season. Matt Schneidman of The Athletic. Appreciate you stopping by.